This is the Zera Shimshon Shir in Parshas Vayigash. It's a day late because it was my father-in-law's yard set yesterday. <clears throat> and we did some extra things. And uh, his name was, this year will be in Eloi Nishmas or Moshe Wolf, Ben Zalman Halevi. I never got to meet him. I didn't have the schos, but uh, he was a very special person. He died in 1968, and we didn't get married till 1974. <clears throat> so this week's shir begins with the Pasuk and Breshish Memvav Kavtes Vayera Elav Vayipoyo Al Tzavorov Vayevk Al Tzavorov Oyud And <clears throat> Yosef fell on his he saw him and he fell on his neck and he cried and he fell on his neck oh and furthermore so with Yaakov says the Zer Shimshon Yaakov didn't fall on the neck or the shoulders I was call it of Yosef he didn't kiss him either the fish so Zakat Gemur, he was reading Shema Yisrael. Reading Shema Yisrael, you didn't see your son for 22 years, you're reading Shema. Makshi Ma'olam. So the question in the world is, Mama Davka Kora Yaakov is Shema Be'esai. What is Yaakov reading Krishma at that specific time? He knew Yosef was coming. Be'itema Sha'asa. So as Dafka Baisa Ha'is Hayaz man the crust kabasikin, if you'll say, well, it pinked it they came very early in the morning, and that was the time to read Krishma Kivasikin, you stop everything. It said, Kashal Yosef, Lama Lai Karoi, Afhuba Esahi. If that was the case, then why didn't Yosef read Krishma also at that time? But Aid Kasha, and furthermore, the Mishpat Hakasuv Nira Shiyakov Ras Yosef. Furthermore, it seems that Yaakov did see Yosef coming. It's mashma that he saw him. It's mashma she Yaakov roi, so he saw him. The e lav ochi, because if you don't say that, the the eloy asi shaper haloshen shel vayera elav doesn't come doesn't have an explanation for the words vayera elav he saw him. The imkain al korcha loy mashe miyad she Yaakov roi so his chil lekois eshma. So the media, immediately, we have to explain that the minute that Yaakov saw Yosef, he started reading Krishna. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? But Zetema, and this is a wonder. The Gam Inlaimash Yaakov Nasa Einov. It doesn't say that Yaakov lifted up his eyes, Krishna, and he saw him in the middle of Krishna. Shahari Saida Krishna who be Sigiroi the Ainin. You have to close your eyes when you read Krishna. That's the halacha. Now this is a, a, a part in the in the Zayar and Parshas Pinchas of Reish Lamed Vav Lamed Beis, and it's brought down there. <clears throat> it says Ashkach. I'll read the whole thing so that you get it. It's a little complicated. Otherwise, I'll read it in Hebrew first and then translate it. It's Ashkach Omer Rabbi Shimon Ashkach No Besifra the Rav Amnuna Sab. We find in the Sefer of Rav Amnuna. The elder. Call me Shemiachid Yichud Zebechol Yom. Everybody who is Miachid Kriyashma every day. Hainu Shekoyre Kriyashma Bekavana Karoi. That is, has the correct intentions in saying Kriyashma. Simcha Mizumenis Loi Melamaila. He has special Simcha in the heaven for him. Like it says, Misaid Eloha Isis. It says in these letters that are coming in Kriyashma. We'll see in a second. Dino, that is Shin Mem Min Shema, the first two letters of the Shema, Shin and Mem, Ze Mitchila Sapasuk. And the Aleph Ches Mihai Sitra, the other way, the other side is the Aleph and the Ches from the word Echad. Mitzad Ze, a Saifa Pasuk. This is how you combine these letters. Maschil Chaber Oises Lamafreya. He combines them reverse, you know, in re- retroactively. The Hainu Maschil Mi Aleph, the Echad, Shabisaifa Pasuk. You start with the Aleph at the end of the Pasuk. The Echakach, I Shin, Shal Shma, Betchilas a Pasuk. And then the Shin at the beginning of the Pasuk. So, so far he has Aleph and Shin. 
Aval shtei oisei mem ches misayim biyosha. The 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 mem and the ches from Shema and Echad he continues in the straight form. The ainu tchila ha mem shel Shema betchila sapasuk and acha kach ches shil the Echad. So what do you come up with? The simon is Aleph shin mem ches esmach. The hayotze mehem milas esmach. The chiv kloimar it means. Shazaycha lemeshe kosov onoichi esmach bahavaya dahino bahashem mamish. So he becomes happy. There, there's a certain joy and a jubilation of him saying Kriyashma mamish. So that's what he's bringing down here. So he says, I, I, I quoted it from the Zayar directly. And then the Zerah Shimshon continues, but the Dalid Rabasi, there's a big Dalid as it's written in the Torah, in Echad, right? It's hinting to the four Imois, the four mothers, four great Imois, the fathers, the mothers of the nation. The Ayin Rabasi of Shema, and there's a big Ayin, as is written in the Torah and in the Mezuzahs and Tillin, in Shema, Raimez le Shlesha Avois. That hints to the three great forefathers, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov. How does it work out? It's like this Avram is Chesed. The Ayin, the Shivim Gishorim Shel Chesed. There's 70 gateways or bridges of Chesed in the world. Yitzchak is Din, which is the 70 people of the Sanhedrin. Seheim Saida Ayin, Shivim Zakanim. That's the 70 Zakanim that sit in the Sanhedrin. And Yaakov is the Shivim Nefesh Yoitze Yerechai Ad Kan Lashani. That's the end of the uh, part of the Zayar. The Ad Oisa Sha Loi Ra Yaakov Shivim Nefesh Kulai Beyachad. Until that time, Yaakov didn't see all seventy of his gr- children and grandchildren together at one time. O Miata Shabo Yosef Esle Nisiachadu Kula Shivim. But now, when Yosef came, he got to see all seventy together. Can you imagine the joy he had? Immediately when he saw Yosef, and he appeared to him, he immediately began to say in order to fulfill the completeness, the tikkun of the world, and the unification. I I forgot to say that that was from the tenth parak of the Zera Shimshon and Parshas Vayigash. I'll put it up on the on the website. And the segula of the Zera Shimshon is as follows: reading it from okay, the Zera Shimshon from Nachman Seltzer. The following letter was written by a cipher. I happen to be a cipher from B'nai Brak. It wasn't. I didn't write it though who experienced the personal Yeshua and made sure to let us know all about it. I am including it right after the previous word on Krishma because uh, this is a mezuzah story. Okay? Mezuzahs, as everyone knows, contain the Krishma, right? Read the first two prokim, Krishma, right? Shema Yisrael and Vahayim Shmoya. Now, promising us the protection of the Rebbeinu Shalom. To Rabbi Yomin Pashkiz and Rabbi Israel Zilberberg, this is written. My name is Rabbi Shloimo Chaim Greenberg, of course, a substitute name. And I live in B'nai Brak, where I have worked as a cipher stam for many years. Baruch Hashem, I have been relatively successful in my chosen field. And I have a good reputation, which allows me to sell large quantities of my work. Suddenly, however, things changed and I found myself and found to my dismay that the brokers weren't coming to me any longer. In fact, things got so bad that I found myself with a large box of mezuzahs, which I wasn't able to move. To be honest, I have to admit that I was being con- contacted by a number of brokers, but I wasn't prepared to sell my work to them because they were offering such a low price that I would have to been I would have been selling my work at a loss. I therefore held out, but my Parnassa was suffering greatly. One day, a good friend of mine, Reb Fischel Berkowitz, advised me to begin learning the Sefer Zerah Shimshon on a regular basis. It didn't take much to convince me, 
and I followed his advice and started to learn from the Sefer every day. Two weeks passed before I picked up my phone and called Reb Fischl. I never forget how excited I was at being able to make that call. Fischl, I said to him, listen to what happened to me. He could hear from my voice that something amazing had happened. I took your advice and began learning Zerah Shimshon. I told him, after a week, I received a phone call from an important mezuzah broker. Shlomo Chaim, he said to me, I need to make a large purchase from you. How many do you need, I said. How many do you have, as many as you have in stock? <laughs> Knowing how things worked, and that big brokers seldom want, wanted to pay a fair price, I decided not even to get into negotiations with him. I don't have what you need. Reb Shlomo, he replied, don't be like that. It's an emergency. I need a, a lot of schaira, a lot of merchandise. I appreciate that you're being in a bind right now, I said, but you are you not... You're not going to want to pay my price, and I can't afford to give you schoira at a loss. I need the mezuzahs immediately, he replied, and I'm willing to pay full price for them. No discount. The broker purchased every single mezuzah that I had in stock, which meant that I went from being penniless to feeling at peace with my financial situation for the first time in many months. To be honest, it was difficult for me to believe my own eyes since such a large business deal had never come my way in all my years of working as a cipher. It was clear to me that this had happened to me in the merit of learning the cipher, Zara Shimshon. From that day on, I never begin writing until I have learned a specific number of, from the Chidushim of the Zara Shimshon. I also dive into Hashem and ask Him to help me be Matzliach in the Schus of the Mechaber. Bididus Gadol, Shlomo Chaim Greenberg. That's a safer. Um, that's a cipher in Bnei Brak, who's of course a pseudonym, and I am pretty emotional about this because I've been a cipher since 1978. I think everybody should have a slacha rabba and have a gizinta fast, not to extend it too long, and everybody should have a wonderful winter. Cult of Zeigerbenchen.